the rules and regulations still remain the same, and I will enforce them. Shake hands and good luck. Steele, who refereed the great fight between Hagler and Hearns, who gave Chavez a victory, a controversial victory, with two seconds to go when he stopped Meldrick Taylor. De La Hoya, unbeaten in 28 so far, 23 by knockout, four world titles, charming, charismatic, glossy. Chavez is their one last vintage performance left from the Mexican legend in the red trunks here. The dazzling combination. Well, they're both very cautious in this round. We were caught with a left hook on the way in, Chavez that time, as the action begins to warm up towards the end of the first round. That's what Chavez has to be aware of. He can't be caught in the way in, he's got to have good head movement from Chavez. Good right hand from Chavez there. And getting closer here to De La Hoya. This is where he wants to be. De La Hoya not wanting to give ground, wanting to match Chavez coming in, showing some blinding speed as Chavez did. The court again with the right. This is already better for Chavez than anything he did in the first fight. Just that little interlude of punching. The uppercut from De La Hoya. Suddenly opening up here, the Golden Boy. The speed is blinding from Delahoya. Well, a toe-to-toe -to -toe showdown towards the end of the second. Delahoya more prepared to stand and trade with Chavez. Could that be a mistake? Is he so emotionally involved that he's going to forget strategy, Delahoya? You'd be surprised, really, on everything we've seen from him so far. Is there a bit of a macho man trying to get out here, you wonder? Watch your shoulder! Decent left hook from Chavez in close. Still De La Hoya. Doesn't want to give ground, wants to meet Chavez. Caught him with a clubbing left hand there, De La Hoya. He's got great variety too. Uppercut and right cross, De La Hoya. Good round this up, already. Keep, keep the punches up, says Richard Steele. It's getting better, this. Chavez trying to get in close again for his body shot, and a very low one. Doubled up in pain for a moment, De La Hoya. Snarls something across the ring at Chavez in Spanish. De La Hoya's OK. They touch gloves rather reluctantly. No point deduction that I saw for Chavez's low blow. De La Hoya not frightened to get involved, and look at his hand speed, it's brilliant, isn't it? Excellent combinations from De La Hoya, Chavez comes forward. Left hook, though, from Chavez, and De La Hoya shows the quality of his chin. He has been down a couple of times in his career, both times getting up to win. Ooh. Again, that speed of punch from De La Hoya, Chavez Never had a hope of slipping it. Oh, but he catches him. Chavez just spun him round momentarily, right at the end of the round. Uh, they've been telling him not to get quite so involved and use that jab. Oh, one from Chavez, but two back with blinding speed from De La Hoya. Picks him up again with the right hand that sends the sweat spraying under the arc lights. This is better now from De La Hoya. Starting to get in, into range, use the jab better, look for fast combinations. Yes, that's, that's when he's at his best, when he gets his work behind the jab. There you're seeing the skills just on the back foot. Chavez just being made to look a little at one pace by comparison. But this is a little bit like the old Julio Cesar, isn't it? He's stepping forward and letting the punches flow. Yes, he's got to try and keep a constant pressure on De La Hoya. When De La Hoya has the space, he can let the combinations go, and they're very, very eye-catching. Great jab from Chavez. This is better from him in round five. Chavez hunting his man down, stepping in, ripping in the odd body shot. That's his game. When he's doing that, like that, there are signs of optimism. This is as well as Chavez has fought in a long time. 
This is a better round for Chavez. He's just managing to block the punches. Getting through with his own good body shots. De La Hoya being drawn into battle at the end of the round. A round I think that Chavez just might have nicked. Looking to step up the tempo, you sense, Chavez. And this middle section of the fight. It's a much, much tougher fight for De La Hoya than many people thought beforehand. Chavez is doing well in this round. He's getting his hands up, not getting caught too much inside. There's another low blow from Chavez, but punch for punch, toe to toe exchanges. It's not what we thought we'd be seeing. Oh, what a left uppercut from De La Hoya. But Chavez has always had an absolutely rock solid chin. Only ever floored once in his whole career by Frankie Randall. Chavez. Good body punch from Chavez and a beautiful left hook from De La Hoya. These are big, big shots that would have a lot of men down from De La Hoya. Oh, big left hook from Chavez, and De La Hoya answered it immediately. It's quite a fight, this, between the modern Latin legend and the old one. Chavez landing with a big right hand. Oh, okay. Chavez getting there with the right hand. Oh, they're not slipping many of those. And then he throws in that combination with blurring hand speed. This is where I think he's dispirited so many people down the years. Very, very good fighters. They've hit him, and he's just there and keeps on coming forward at them. It's very, very hard to keep a fighter off like Chavez. De La Hoya doing it very nicely there, though. Beautiful skills from De La Hoya. What a combination. Flashy brilliance from De La Hoya. A lot of people thought it wouldn't take De La Hoya this long, but Chavez still very competitive. Probably behind on the scorecards, Glenn? Yes, I would think he's behind. The, the better boxing has been from De La Hoya, but he's still there, and that makes him dangerous. Well, De La Hoya here is hitting it with some punches that have knocked down the walls of a city. He's gritting his teeth, De La Hoya. He's really trying to make Chavez pay. But Chavez just keeps shrugging them shoulders, coming forward. And Chavez turning the tables and De La Hoya on those ropes. I think he's looking to outgrit him, outlast him here, maybe take him late. But De La Hoya is being asked a lot of questions here about his grit and character, and you'd have to say so far he's passing that test. He's passing the test, but it's hard for him. He's been drawn into a fight. It's not really the sort of battle that suits him. But I think he wants to do it this way. I think it's pride. He wants to prove he can out-touch Chavez. Yeah. He was upset at the comments last time. He wants to prove he's more man. He's tougher inside. But that's a dangerous game he's playing. He's playing Chavez's game, really. You don't give a man like Cesar Chavez any advantage. He's looking to out-slug Chavez here to La Hoya. But he's letting Chavez in with a chance that he might not have had. Had he boxed behind his jab coolly. But the upshot of that is a tremendous battle between these two. What a fight he's developing into. Look at this. Tremendous action. It looks as if Chavez may be cut. Or the damage may be worse. The crowd were on their feet during those exchanges. Well, what do you know about this, Ian? They said it was going to be an easy fight for De La Hoya. They didn't account for the immense pride and toughness of Cesar Chavez. Look at the finish of De La Hoya, who wanted to carry on after the bell. What a round! What a round! Sensational stuff, man. Absolutely unbelievable fight and a, what a round of boxing. Oh, damage to the mouth of Chavez. He looks in 
some distress from that. It's going to take more than that, you feel. Richard Steele, the referee's had it first look. The doctor's in there as well. Yep. He's shaking his head, Chavez. There seems to be a problem. I don't think you'll want to go out like that. What a eighth round this was in this arena that staged that fantastic heavyweight title fight between Riddick Foe and Evander Holyfield, the first one of their triumvirate, but it's over, it is over, Chavez is pulled out, De La Hoya has done it again, it's another Oscar winning night. Well, the eighth round just proved too much for Chavez, he did what he wanted to do, he out-topped Chavez, he stood with him, he fought with him, and he came out a winner.